Electric cars have been around for more than 100 years and we're constantly being told that they offer a great solution to atmospheric pollution in urban areas because they don't have any tailpipe emissions. But there's a problem. We aren't all driving them yet and there's a reason for that. They're widely seen as being impractical and too slow and frankly a bit dull and boring. But have a look at this. It's a Lola racing car and it actually does run on batteries. And the man behind it is electric vehicles entrepreneur Paul Drayson. Okay, so the first question I have is where's the engine? Here it is. Um, it was John Cooper who had the bright idea of moving race engines from the front to the back. And so the engine is a structural part of the chassis. Here we have a carbon exoskeleton inside of which we have here the batteries. On top of it, the computer, which controls the car. And inside there, four electric motors developed by Oxford University. Probably the, the world's best electric motor today. This car is capable of 200 miles an hour, purely on battery power. It's meant to be a test bed for new technology, but it's also designed to show just how impressive electric power can be. Perceptions of electric vehicles are actually pretty poor, and those perceptions probably haven't kept up with the pace of development of electric cars and how good they are and what they can do. So that acts as a big limit on potential demand. So I think seeing an electric car here today perform the way it does, it can make it exciting, it can make it cool, and it can literally spark an interest in the wider population. The car you see here probably won't ever race, but its successes will. A new international championship for electric cars begins next year. Organisers hope it can become a powerful weapon in the battle to win hearts and minds and make electric cars not just environmentally friendly, but a little bit sexy as well. Leo Leggett, BBC News.